Becoming an elite Call of Duty player happens in only one way, through sheer grind and hard work with the drive to be the very best. Once you attain pro level, the next step is winning a championship. On the way to winning a championship, some players get named stars in our league by the pros and by the community. However, sometimes players slip through the cracks. Sometimes we don't notice what some players are doing. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Who is the most underrated player in Call of Duty? Who is the hidden superstar? The topic of underrated has been thrown around in the community every single year. There are a ton of names from everyone's favorite team always thrown into the mix. Some of you might ask, what makes you underrated? I'd say being underrated in Call of Duty is having consistent statistical excellence alongside solid placings, but you still get no praise or you get dropped. I've come to one conclusion. The most underrated player in the CDO era is Reese Vivid. Before we get into statistics, let's talk about who Reese Vivid is. Vivid was brought up from challengers early into the MW season. At the time, the roster was Aqua, Decimate, Spart, Blast, and Vivid. As you can probably tell by the composition of this roster, they didn't have much success. They proceeded to switch the roster for a third time, but it was to no avail outside of a top four finish at the Minnesota homestand. There wasn't much chatter about the players on LAG, however Vivid was shockingly the number three highest Slayer rating in the league, and also had a 1.2 in Search and Destroy, with the highest kills per round in SD. He received an all-star nod for his success, but all-star nods have never met much in Call of Duty and is not taken serious unless you're on a star organization. So there wasn't much chatter about Vivid. Moving into the Cold War season, LAG decided to keep Vivid and surrounded him with seasoned vets. The roster was Silly, Assault, Apathy, and Vivid. This team had virtually zero success outside of a top six placing, which they followed it up with a last place finish. It was this result that led to the dropping of Vivid for Chino. This effort would go on to be an example to organizations that the old talent was not the way to form a Call of Duty team in this era. At the time, Vivid needed a squad. Despite boasting ridiculous stats, he was replaced by four veteran players. On May 21st, 2021, Empire announced the acquisition of Vivid. Empire was coming off of a top eight finish, which was their worst all year. They had an underwhelming three and two record online headed into the major, but in their first match on land versus the Chicago Huntsman, Vivid dropped a 1.3 and had the most damage in the lobby. This set them up for a top two finish at the tournament, completely turning around the downward drop Dallas were headed for. This squad proceeded to then place top four at stage five and top three at the world championship. By all means, a wonderful year for Dallas Empire and a great move by picking up Reese Vivid. Now in the Cold War season, Vivid had absurd stats. He was number seven overall in hardpoint damage, top 20 in first blood percentage, and number seven in control damage. Enough output to be considered a superstar alongside those top four finishes, right? Well, wrong. Headed into the new title, Vivid found himself after Rostermania on the Florida Mutineers. He was teaming alongside Awakening, Skies, and Dave Patty. Everyone remember this team? He was the only SMG player on the roster. You heard that right. Everyone alongside him is a natural AR. This team had zero success, and guess what happens next? Vivid gets dropped. Again. To this day, since dropping him, the Florida Mutineers organization hasn't outplaced his top six finish while he was there. He was then acquired by the Boston Breach. They placed top eight at back-to-back -back tournaments. Now let's take a look at Vivid's Vanguard statistics. On the year, Vivid was number seven for overall hardpoint damage and number three for control damage. Now that's all-star stats given his situation, right? Anyways, moving into the current season, he remained a part of the Boston Breach. Boston have placed top four in all three qualifying stages, landing them good spots in the bracket. At major one, they had a poor placing due to Awakening getting sick and having to sit out. After that, it's top six and then top four at each respective major. Solid progression for a team with a new player. Now let's take a look at Vivid's stats once again this year. Vivid is currently number 11 in hardpoint damage after having to take a back seat to some players coming into the team, number seven in control damage, and 13th in first blood percentage. By all means, a star statistical season with solid placings to back it up. Well, he just got dropped, again. Now these things happen at times, I realize that. Some players just don't fit into some systems, despite being great at Call of Duty. Perhaps this change will pay off for the Boston Breach. Their new challengers player, Kremp, he has a lot of high praise. The fact remains, Vivid has been consistently putting up star seasons and has not yet received the praise that he deserves. Which is why, in my opinion, he is the Call of Duty League's hidden superstar.